everyone welcome back to my channel today we're going to learn how to knit the easiest socks and uh, these are knitted cuff down on double pointed needles and you need the yarn and four double pointed needles um, a tapestry needle for the um, for the kitchener stitch that we're going to close up with so um, what i did here i um, i cast on um, stitches enough for a sock so if you're um, if you're knitting an adult probably 40 stitches depending on your yarn um, and then uh, I knitted uh, in the round one by one rib and then stockinette stitch uh, for as long as I want my cuff to be and then I take a um, contrasting color yarn and I'm gonna knit half of the stitches with the contrast color yarn and this is going to mark the heel of the sock um, now as you can see here I, I've got my stitches on three needles so half of the stitches which would be on a sock of 40 stitches would be 20 stitches um, on one needle and then 10 stitches on another needle and 10 stitches on a third needle um, and I'm knitting the, the stitches um, on the first needle, which are half of the stitches, with the contrast color yarn. And I do that all the way to the end of the needle. And then um, then I'm going to cut this yarn and make a knot uh, on the other end, just to, to know which way I have to... Um, start pulling it out and you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute um, but yeah just cut your yarn and um, and make the knot on the right side of it and then just tuck it in I, I find it easier because all the yarns are going to be inside there so they're not going to bother me and then I'm going to continue knitting the rest of the stitches with my main color which is pink This is what it looks like after I've done one round so you want to keep going like this to knit the length of the foot the way that you want it and then you want to shape the toe with a series of decreases uh, knit two together SSK on the other side and then finish with the Kitchener stitch and this is what mine looks like I made a sample little one uh, just for this video um, and now we're ready to pick up the stitches so I want to go above the, the contrast color yarn on the first leg of each V and I want to pick up as many stitches as I had on this needle before so I think in my case I had about 16 but if you're knitting a 40 stitch sock then it would be 20 stitches so um, Pick up all the stitches um, that you need to above the contrast color yarn. And then we're going to do the same thing underneath the color, but we're going to put the stitches on two needles so we can start knitting in the round again. As you can see, these socks are very, very easy and they look really nice. And also you can make um, different stitch you can knit different stitches you don't have to knit stockinette stitch actually I find this a very easy way of doing a different pattern on the socks 
because you don't have to worry about heel flap, a gusset, picking up stitches, decreases and stuff. So I'm counting here my stitches and just to make sure that I've got all of them. And I think I picked up an extra one. It happens. Okay, we'll turn, turn this off and we're going to go again to pick up more stitches. Again, you have to up the same number of stitches in my case I think it's 16 if you're knitting a 40 stitch sock then it would be 20 stitches and I'm saying 40 stitch sock because I usually cast on 40 stitches for the socks I make for adults and here I'm gonna put the stitches on the third needle green um, yarn out and what you want to you want to go on the end that doesn't have the slip knot and you just want to start pulling out the yarn like that and you will come out I promise uh, you just might want to snip it a little bit um, so you don't have to pull the whole tail out but um, keep on picking it until all the stitches become live on your needles and then we're ready to knit in the round again. So here I, here I am with my live stitches and I want to attach the yarn on my work and work um, kind of like the shaping of the toe. So um, I'm just going to start with a plain knitting round and then I'm going to start decreases on um, both, side of the both sides of the heel. Um, knit two together and then SSK at the end. And uh, the second round is always um, just a plain knit round. And um, here I'm doing my SSK slip slip and then knit the stitches through the back loop. Um, so keep doing this until you're left to w with enough stitches uh, to do the Kitchener stitch exactly the way that um, you did your toe. And I don't know if you noticed there, but I had a gap and I had to uh, pick up a stitch in the gap and then I just um, um, bind it off um, on my next round. Or, But if you have a gap between your needles on both sides, you can just do that. And this is what it looks like. It's so cute and it's so easy to knit. And um, you can see here that the toe and the heel are exactly the same. Um, they're knitted exactly the same. Uh, but it makes a sock. So when you put it on the side, it is, it's, it's like a sock. And um, I think this is the easiest sock that you can knit. And if you're a beginner and, and you know how to knit and purl, and I have videos for casting on knitting in the round, Check the description below and try this sock and um, let me know what, what you think and how you get on with it. But uh, I hope you enjoy it. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Have a nice time knitting.